Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you to Ikmori Market. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know this is a market I love so much because I get a lot of my cookware, a lot of my plates, a lot of my home decor from this market. And it is quite, it is a distance from my house. It takes me at least six hours to get to Ikmori Market. So it's not somewhere I go all the time. I set out a particular day to go. The last time I went there was in February when I was planning my daughter's um, birthday party and I got the party packs and stuff from Ikmori Market. But today I'm just going to get plates and cookware and just going to the market for, you know, you just want to go to the market. Retail therapy. <laughs> That's what I'm going today. Um, so come along with me. The first thing I always like to buy from here is Kwanla fish. They always sell Kwanla fish in front and somebody always sells ram meat. So I buy ram meat from there and Kwanla fish. It's so much more cheaper here than in my area. The first place I stop in market is a place called Yem Yem or Yem Kem Bakery. It's on the left side of the market. I stop there to use their restroom and to get a cold drink. I do it all the time. So this is the first store I entered today and I saw this popsicle maker. I had to get it because I saw somebody on Instagram doing this video with it and the person was in the UK so I was like ah. How come this is the first thing I saw when I got here? I was actually thinking about that maker as I was coming, which is so weird. I never imagined I was going to see it here. I wasn't even looking for it, but it was a video I watched on my way to the market. That's just that for attraction. I mean, what do they call it? <laughs> Love of attraction. Anyways, um, this market is filled with so many things. You just have to know the section you're looking for. They have the section for home decor, and I'm entering one of my favorite stores for home decor. Stuff can be expensive, but they have a lot of items from chairs to flowers to just all sorts of decoration. They also have like kitchenware and cookware and all sorts. So this is just me taking you around this particular shop. I don't feel like this one. I didn't buy anything in that first shop uh, but this is the second shop I entered I love these cutting boards 
um, you guys know I have a children's cookbook so I like to get a lot of children friendly accessories that I can use for picture props I was actually planning a photo shoot so this is one of the reasons I came to the market even though I just came to look but get a lot of things for my photo shoot for the children's cookbook um, they have cookware here different types of pots air fryers so many things the thing about this market is you just enter and each shop has something different and you spend so much time in each shop there's no way to know who black. has what and sometimes they don't even know what they have in their shop so you can be like i want a let's say a brand of a particular product and they wouldn't know they have it you are going to be the one to point and say yes that thing that you have on the shelf is what i want and also they do not really allow filming so i only filmed in stores that allowed me to film okay so are we ready or we're not Fifteen. Give me the um, blue as well. Let me see the blue one. I'll give you a new one. This one is for sale. Uh -huh. You have a new one? Yes. Okay, give me one. How about the two? I see they look. That price is cost. I did not plan to buy three today. Mary, sister, Mary. And the pink, how much is the pink? Seven for the pink. How much the last? Is this one? Okay, this one is eight levels. I bought a lot of stuff from this shop just because the lady was very welcoming there's some people when you enter their show the way they just act like you run out immediately because me i'm very shy i can't shout if i enter your shop and you're looking one kind i'll just walk out but she had nice things and she was really nice and welcoming and i was like ah, this is a different kind of personality but i was so happy i stayed okay, because she had nice things that i could use for um food photography if you guys notice i don't buy a lot of things in sets like i don't buy like six of one item i usually buy one or two because i use them as props most of the time for my cookbooks 
and for my um, YouTube videos. You didn't give me that this thing. These are expensive. You can't just be buying like six of one item. Like some of these plates are like 2,000 naira for one. <laughs> so I just buy two. Mm -hmm. So okay. that I know I'm using it for my videos. But I really like this shop. And then I went into this one because I was looking for a console. I saw this console in another shop and it was 1.2 million naira. That's that brown console. So I entered here and she said she was selling her own for 950. I really like the console, but that is way out of budget. <laughs> I looked around, just enjoyed sightseeing, and then I went to another shop. Last price. Everything is not this color. Oh, one is a different color. Different this color. This is the carbon pattern. 600. How much last? This is 600. Um. Oh, this is. How much are these ones? Let me see. Oh, not for food, for weight. Okay. It seems enough food. If you know me, you know that mm. I was having <laughs> confusion here. I really like the pink table mat and I love it with the green. In my mind, I was like, if I was having a party, I was going to use it for like a flamingo party. But no, I don't have a party coming up. So why am I thinking of parties? It's just the Yoruba woman in me. But anyways, um, I saved it. <laughs> saved their card in case I do plan a flamingo party. I saw this um, cutlery set, I love it. I picked it up, but I also saw another one that I really liked, which was a pink one. I liked it just because it was pink. <laughs> it was hard making a decision, but the lady brought me cold water. Like, the water was so showing. Thank you. <laughs> when she brought the water, I was like, ah, they have, they have pressed my mumu button. I had to buy two. <laughs> I think I have to make a note that any store I enter and they are welcoming and they act very nice, I find myself buying more than oh, yeah, I color. plans to buy. Yeah. And I just guess kind of this is a note to people that sell. Like, people will buy from whoever is welcoming. Does it keep food warm? Yeah. Open it, let me see. Hello? Hello, Okay. How much is it? You want on top of course. That one on top. Let me check if you will see green of this one that we just opened. Which one? Mm. Oh why hey, that money? Hey, that money. Oh okay. Then do you have pink? Yes. Hey now sir, I don't say they go see the way chasing me more. Okay, it's like this is the green I want. Mm -hmm. This is green. Okay. On camera, does it look fine? Also, Where's when I came to the yeah, market, yeah. so many people recognized me. I was like, you people are watching my videos, they're watching my recipes. And a lot of them actually from Instagram, they're following me from Instagram. So most of the stores I entered, they already kind of knew who I was. And you guys know I'm bad at bagging, so, so it affected my, it affected my buying and my, and, my, and my purchasing power. But it was good. Um, I met some that were willing to be in a video. They were like, they were so excited. So 
I decided to do a video for them. If you ever go to a Korean market, go to their store because that's where I got the um, lunch boxes for the kids. I got some from there. So make sure you patronize them. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Taiwani Jewelers underscore Black Cockade on Instagram. I sell jewelry, wristwatch, all type of jewelry, male and female and children. Our store is located in Ipoi Shopping Centre, Sule, Lagos. Please come and patronize us. So kindly come to. Hi guys, my name is Omoteniola. I sell children party pads, children wears. You can also follow me on my IG page at everything by Tenny Kitties. Love you guys. Thank you. Welcome. So we're going to show people that we came to your store. Ooh, good afternoon. How much is this? 35. 35. So pretty. So this is me at home. I'm just showing you guys what I got from the market. This was the first item, which was this watermelon popsicle maker. I've already done a video with it already or taken a picture with it. So you'll see it in a couple of days. I also bought this flask because I wanted to have multiple flasks for my children to take to school for lunchbox for them to actually take to school and for me to create content with so i saw this one i liked it and i got the green one as well <music> I already have this particular item in two other colors but they were not kid friendly so when I saw this color I was like I have to have it this is one of the reasons food content creation is expensive because you keep seeing nice things that you have to buy remember these ones that I showed you earlier we're going to use it to create some lovely content when you see it you can let me know that ah this is me I saw that in your haul so I got this as well I got a pink um, cutting board board this is just a prop i have over 10 cutting boards <laughs> I got this, um, I don't know, I will call it a jar. I saw it and I liked it. And I thought it would make a good prop in my studio, like just put it on the floating shelf. And then when my husband saw it, he was like, who died? I'm like, what do you mean by who died? He's like, is this not um, that container that they put dead body ashes inside? Even though that's not the purpose of the pot, since he said it, I could not unsee it. <laughs> So let me know in the comment section, does it really look like that container where they put um, ash? Because I don't think that's what it is. I really love this plate because they will be perfect as um, for serving pasta, also some soups. It really looks nice. I've seen them in restaurants and in some um, photo uh, food photography. So I decided to get a pair of that. I really really like these plates because they're dark colored and they are matte when it comes to food photography glossy plates are not really good for it you need to get like plates that are matte so anytime I see matte plates I always get it I like this one because it was the only plate in the store and it was so cute I could not resist taking it home I think I got it for like one five <music> black 
duck bowls are so small and so cute and they are perfect for styling food i love the texture i love the color and it would just be perfect for food photography <music> This is one of my favorite plates that I bought because it is white and then it is matte. You know what I was saying earlier about photography when it comes to food, you need it to be matte so that the light doesn't reflect back on the camera. So I always like getting um, a matte plate if I can find them. I also got this set because it was very affordable. <laughs> so I got two of that and then one in another color so it would be perfect for styling something um, native i also got these lavender flowers they will be perfect as photo props i can already imagine the picture i want to take in my head but i'll also use it to decorate somewhere in my house so remember the cutlery set that i got so this one was silver and it looks really nice i'm happy i got it a lot of my cutlery at home i don't know where they go to they end up getting missing and i'm like i'm not sure what's happening to cutlery do they just wake up in the morning and walk out of the kitchen why do, do those cutlery always get missing you find only maybe two spoons one knife what's, what's going on Anyways, I got the pink as well and I'm happy about my purchase. This was the last item I bought, a lunchbox for my daughter, but it will also be a prop for our children's cookbook just to demonstrate some of the recipes in the children's cookbook. If you do not have our children's cookbook, what are you waiting for? Go to the link in my description box and get yourself one of it. It's an ebook. Thank you guys for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.